Kike Lavaun. We also want to, well, the CEO of Orange and Sonatella, both Ms. Lady La Poste Lady. Ladies and gentlemen, please be on your feet as we welcome our First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Thank you. We also want to invite on stage the Member of Parliament for Constituency 028. You are graciously welcome, Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone. So, we will continue with the invitation to the high table. We want to call on the Director General of NASCAR. We also want to invite on stage the EU representative, if, is, if he is here. The General Secretary, the General Secretary of Orange, Sierra Leone. Thank you. We want to recognize the presence of the Deputy Minister of Communications and kindly ask that you take your seats at the high table. And we all get seated as we're about to start. Okay, good morning everybody. We want to say a special morning. Good morning to our First Lady for grace in this occasion. We also want to say thank you for acknowledging our invitation. Without further ado, I'd like to call on the chief imam to say the Muslim prayer and the chaplain to please come forward. Jamaatul Muslimin Awal Muslimat Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Barakatuh Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Barakatuh Inshallah the program of Kala God will bless inside But before they go on the prayer force I want to take a silent minute prayer For First Lady Any Twitter account let God make her a blessing for her. If it be sickness, it be anything, the general there, the security there, all right, let them say they inside the blessing. Our Father, so. Amen. Wana uzu billahi mina setani raje, ta uzu billahi mina setani raje. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika wa tabaraka ismoka wa ta'ala zaiduka wa la ilaha kaiwaka Inni wajiat wajihia lillazi fatah wa samawat wal arda hanifa ma anna bin al-musirti Alhamdulillah Summa alhamdulillah Inna alhamdulillah Ba'ad alhamdulillah Nahmadu wa nastahinu wa nastakfiruhu Wa na'uzu billahi min sururu anfusin wa sati a'amalina Fa mani ya hati Allah, fa la mudil Allah Wa mani yudil, fa la hati Allah Wa ashadu Allah ilaha ila Allah Wa hada Allah sarika Allah Wa ashadu anna muhammada abduhu wa rasuluhu Amma ba'ad Ya ikhwatil muslimina wal muslimata Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu Mr. Lai, God bless you all, ya? The school of our opinion is like what put blessing inside. The way that they start, most of them know their life. When they think, say, he do 99 years in this world, he do 50 years, he do 100 years, not to that you God care for. God care only for you, al salam that al yam we call the nafs. God only need from you three days. Which one are the three days? We don't see yesterday, Wednesday. Today, how are we? You go know if you're going today, or you go see tomorrow. Now, these three days, God will judge for mortal man. We shall let God never get a blessing. Yeah? They build the wall, Kaupi. When we then spend the money, let God give them more abundance of money. Let God make them not forget for help. Because now, the 124,000 prophets, they do not build house. God say, when I build house for me, when I the mosque, he say, when I make garden, when I build school, when I make hospital, he say, when I do what I think there, for tomorrow the day of judgment day. Let me make the day of judgment day. What you God do for judgment first, and salad, you pray at first. If you see prayer complete, all the parts we don't do, the prayer will cover up. No doing of the job, like, all right, when I don't come on to pay this school, when I know not pay for many thousands of dollars, don't go there. But my advice to you people, when I pray, when I pray, God will motivate more, all right. The directors and the workers of all right, let God bless you, yeah? We teachers, we headmistress, we generals, we armed forces, wife them. Let God make the upgrade this place for we. Let God make this place light on to the story back again. Because I'm person they pray God for. So now the teachers, let God do our work. Let God bless you now. They begin the one at the land answer because they have this worker. It's a way educate, educate another person. When you don't educate nobody, you keep that education pipe and greatness. Next world, the dog judgment day. God they put that education in the city of Jahannama. When it goes in pain now, that is God is sentence you. So let God bless you, yeah? So the blessing where Prophet Abraham, where God been commanded for build a house, that the blessing with the kind of this house, so let God multiply that for you, yeah? So what was the army? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa izi arifawul kawa ibin amin al-bayt wa isma'il. Rabbana takapal minna inna kanta samil alim Rabbana waja'alni muslimain Laka wa min jurajina ummata muslimata Alaka wa arina manasikan wa tuwala inna kanta tawrahim Allahumma Rabbana wa bu'asa fi rasulullah Minuhu yatul alayhi Ayyatika yalimuhu al-kitab wa al-hikmat wa izakimi Inna kanta azizu hakeem Allahumma Rabbana ya Rabbana takapal minna inna kanta samil alim Wa tubu lana wa maulana inna kanta tawurahim Allahumma rabbana la tegana fitnata fitnata li lezina kafara wa kfila rabbana inna kanta zizulahim Allahumma rabbana la tegana fitnata fitnata kwa min zalimin Allahumma rabbana atinana nurana inna kala kulisa in kadir Rabbana atina fi dunia asamatan wa fal akira asamatan wa kina Ajaba Nal, Wakina, Ajaba Hassan, Wakina, Ajaba Jamin. Salamu Swana Rabika, Rabuli Izzat, Amen Sifur, Wasalatu Wasalam.
dan yahil mursali walhamdulillah rabbil alamin al-fatih jahara auzu billahi minas syaitanir rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin arrahmanirrahim maliki yaumil din iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdina siratal mustaqim siratal ladzina an'amta alaihim ghairul maghdubi alaihim wal dhalin amin la ala blessi anti kawa prayas gapami soma good morning everybody god bless us all in jesus name we are here to witness a remarkable work done by the administration and leadership of BIMA, the BIMA preparatory. We want to thank the Lord this moment for their leadership. Hallelujah. This is Bintu of a home. And also this is Hawa Alpha for their serious work done. May God bless them, staff and people of the school. Let us all say Amen. Shall we pray? Lord God Almighty, we thank you this moment that we are here to witness this remarkable work done by your people. Lord, to this community and the nation as a whole. We thank you and we worship you. We extol your name for this great achievement. We also want to thank you that God we are able to bring here with us the mother of our land, Her Excellency, the First Lady, Mrs. Fatima B. Lord, we pray that God will continue to bless and take you and Elijah Coast so that Lord, so that Lord will benefit from the gifts that you have given her to make this nation. We thank you also for the leadership of this nation, our Commander in Chief. We also pray that you bless it and the government that good governance will be achieved. We well, thank you, Holy Ghost, for this program that you are about to open. We ask your presence to be here and we pray that Lord you continue to bless all and so on. Lord, education makes brighter the nation. We pray that God, this school, will be a beacon of knowledge in this community and they will provide this community with adequate and meaningful life to our children in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare this program open in the name of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, to take full prayer and absolute control. In Jesus' name, we put us out to praise our Father. Who art there? I love you, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive those, and lead us not, but deliver us from evil, the time is thy kingdom, our daily bread, forever and ever. Let the peace of God be with us. We want to thank the Army Chaplain and Chief Imam for their respective prayers. At this point in time, we want to invite on stage the PRO for the Army Wives Cooperative Society to give the welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, I am truly delighted to stand before you today on behalf of the Armed Forces Wives Cooperative Society to extend a warm and hearty welcome to you all on this auspicious occasion, which is the commissioning of our newly renovated school, BIME, supported by ORN Sierra Leone Limited. Today, gather here to celebrate the transformation and revitalization of our school premises. 
I would like to recognize and formally welcome the presence of renowned personalities in our midst. Our beautiful, hardworking, dynamic, and selfless first lady, Her Excellency, Madam Dr. Fatima Mada Bio. Ladies and gentlemen, let us please put our hands together for her. Please. She's a selfless woman. Our honorable ministers and all government officials present here, the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Pizza K. Lavaon, Joint Force Commander Major General Browner Alpha, Senior Officers, Men and Women of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Executive Officer of Orange Sierra Leone Limited, Sheku Ahmad Burr and Team, Executive Officer of Sanitel and Team and all gathered here today. This momentous event will not have been possible without the collective efforts, dedication, and the unwavering commitment of our President, Madam Fatima Sabi Sulagahu and Team, and the management of Oren Serbio under the leadership of Sheku Amaduba. The revitalization of our school is not merely about the physical changes, but also about our unwavering commitment to the intellectual and personal growth of children, of the armed forces and community as a whole. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you for joining us on this joyous occasion as we celebrate the commissioning of our newly renovated school, BME, and we... Before I take my seat, I would like to call on one of our people, Khadija T. Kenyansi, to present this lovely bouquet on behalf of the Armed Forces Wise Cooperative Society and School Management to Her Excellency, the First Lady, Dr. Fatima Mada Bio. I thank you all. the project manager for this project, Mr. Kamal Abbas, to give an uh, overview of the alone. project. And after which, we will just um, have a quick video of what this building used to look like. Thank you. Your Excellency, Honorable First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Ministers of Government, the Chief of Defense Staff, and Senior Officers of the Republic of the Military Force of Sierra Leone, Honorable Member of Parliament for Constitution 028, Director General of NATCA, and colleagues of all in Sierra Leone, Head Teachers, 
staff and pupils of Pime Beverly School, members of the 40th state, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to give you a quick overview of the school television project. This request was received from the President of the Republic of the Armed Forces uh, Wives Cooperative Society in April this year. After further engagements between the President herself and the General Secretary of Orange Salon, the request was submitted to our CSR committee, which is also chaired by our able CEO, Mr. Seko Amaduba. On seeing the appealing condition of the school building, the committee made the decision to proceed with this renovation. The renovation was carried out by the Extra Parks Project Salon, who commenced the project in July 2023 this year. On seeing the appealing condition, the committee decided to proceed with the renovation. I want to thank the CEO and the CSR committee members of Salaleu for their commitment in ensuring that the school and the, of the school and believing strongly that education and human capital development is one of the strongest levers for development in the government of Salaleu. I also want to use this opportunity to thank Express Parks contractors for a job well done as you can see. And I can assure you all meeting the standards of all in Salaleu is not an easy task. Without boring with further speeches, I would like to show you a video giving you an overview of the journey of this project. Thank you. to the very important part of this morning's event and that is statement. And at this point in time, I'd like to invite to the podium the CEO of Orange, sorry, the, CD, the Chief of Defense Staff of the Armed Forces of Sierra Leone Army to make a statement. Thank you. Excellency, Madam First Lady, 
Uh, please allow me to just turn on the existing protocols. So that we know it's there. Uh, I know um, the prayer role has welcomed all of you to be made. But then let me welcome all of you again to the military installation. That's for both barracks. That's my role to welcome you. So you are welcome. I'm pleased to join you this morning. I'm deeply honored to share with you in today's inaugural ceremony of the handing over of the BMA Closely and Great School here at Fort Fox Barracks. The BMA Closely and Great School is one of the oldest luxury and Great School facilities across the armed forces and has provided basic conducive learning environment for the kids of our service personnel here at Fort Fox. About four decades ago, the leadership of the armed forces cooperative society conceived the idea of establishing this school facility. This facility, as the name implies, was to provide luxury and quality school services in a conducive environment where kids of service personnel will be taken care of while their parents or service personnel were at work. Over the years, many of our children have had their first step in learning the opportunity here at the Bimbe Bimbe Nursery Apprentice School. I therefore salute the memory of the past leadership of the Armed Forces Wife Corporate Society for giving on to succeeding generations this educational and learning facility. Education, as we all know, is important to all of us. And it's the only key to success in our personal and professional life. But even as we reflect on what education can offer our kids, sadly this facility has for a while be in the poor state. I'm therefore happy that the leadership of the armed forces, white corporate society, has taken it very seriously. And within the shortest possible time of two months, have been able, through the support of its partner, Orange Trail Limited, to renovate seven classrooms and an office space that we are about inaugurating today. While at time, the entire leadership membership of the Armed Forces Wide Corporate Society, I want to most I want to thank most profoundly the leadership for undertaking this project and making the renovation possible. That our soldiers can now once again have the conditional environment where their kids can have nursing and learning facilities. Distinguished invitees, my deepest gratitude goes out today to Orange Sierra Leone Limited and especially the Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Seko Amoduba, Sierra Leone Limited, deserve our warmest appreciation and recognition. They are the sole contributor to the renovation of this nursery and great school. I therefore take this occasion to thank their immensely for their timely corporate social responsibility and offering to undertake this project for the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces as more especially for our school going kids. We are all aware that uh, most of our corporate institutions actually have been providing the sales up to institutions like ours. And uh, this is one of the greatest examples. And I'm aware also, in the last lab, we, we belong to the, uh, we are, we are the Senate of the Ultratrist. Those of us who read that book. We will continue to beg, I will always beg. And the fact that uh, whilst you are awake and you are sleeping, it is your responsibility to actually take care of us. And I'm aware the armed forces, when police fire society, they have uh, they have conceived another idea to put up an office space, which has never happened. They now want to hold an office space. And we are giving them the land space, we are giving them the plan and the side plan. So it's something we have to think of seriously. That we have to support them so that they have their own office.
this phase and then the facilitate of football so where they can develop skills training for their colleagues, women, and even our some of our serving uh, are female so that in the Aslan. So that just put for thought to all of us. The support to us, the resolution of this facility seeks to bring government free quality education for all. And now they resonate with the sustainable development goal for that is sending more schools to school. I would therefore want to encourage the management of this priority school and the leadership of the Armed Forces Wife to Police Society to take great care of this facility and make good use of this opportunity as a great way of learning for our kids. What Orange Radio Limited has done is to complement the national agenda in the improvement of education for our kids. And by addressing deficiencies and challenges associated with the living, grocery, and priority school. Let me therefore at this stage call on other partners within the Urban Force community and beyond to emulate the good work of Orange Radio Limited in supporting the Armed Forces Branch Public Society with the corporate social responsibility as a way of giving back to the communities and societies where they operate. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for your kind attention and God bless. Thank you. We want to thank the Chief of Defense Staff of the Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Lieutenant General P.K. Lavaon for that wonderful statement. At this point in time, we want to invite on stage the CEO of Orange Sierra Leone, Mr. Seko Amadouba, to give a statement. Your Excellency, the Honorable First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Ministers of the Government, the Chief of Defense of the Sierra Leone Army, Honorable Member of the Parliament for Constituency 28, Director General of NAPCA, Deputy Director General of NAPCA, Deputy Minister of Communication, Dear colleague, Chairman of OSL, sorry. I want 